Hey, Ashley. Hey. Matt. hey, Seb. How's it going? It's going great. How are you? Good. Very good. No. Um, uh, it I, is actually my Boba Fett helmet that I decided to surprise you with for the start of the session. Love I it. I love it. <laughs> but I, I love it. Okay. see my face. It's very, it's very surprised. Yeah, I think I'm ready for the photo op before we start. All right, okay. let's do it. All right, I'll go ahead and take that snapshot in three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. I love the photos behind you on your wall. Oh, yes. yes thank you. I, I just wanted to get all set up for you because I enjoyed watching The Clone Wars from start to finish. Oh, and, gosh. Well, thank yeah. you. And this photo over here, um, this is a photo that I've taken in Disneyland Resort in Paris, France. This is the hyperspace mountain that we have in Europe. Wow. So where are you located right now? Um, in the UK, but my family is Canadian. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, I very cool. Photos. And are you Anyways, a big Mickey fan? Too? Oh, yes. I, I'm a big Mickey Mouse fan. I'm, I'm a fan of all things Disney. So have you been to the Disney World... Uh, been to Disney World in, in Florida? Have you been to Disneyland in California? I've been to the one in Florida, but not since 2011. Okay. And so, and clearly you've been to the other parks too. What What's kind of been your favorite? Do you like Paris? Do you like Florida better? What? Uh, yeah, I, I like Paris because it's closest to me and it has all okay. the attractions and like uh, all the works. Um, and we have some more attractions coming up in the coming years. Now, Ashley, have you been to Paris? Have you been to like to I the haven't. Disney in Paris? Okay. I haven't. I gotta, gotta and go. And you've got one in Japan too, right? I've been to that one. Yeah. I haven't Very been cool. to Japan. Me neither. But anyways, I've got a few questions that I prepped off yeah, for you. Yeah, let's okay. dive in. Okay. So I know both of you are famous for playing the animated Star Wars characters and Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano in, in the Clone Wars. Um, do you remember your first day in the recording studio voicing each of your characters? And what was the experience like? <laughs> Ashley, tell the story. <laughs> well, I so Matt and I had a different first day because um, there was a, a, a different Anakin for the first couple of months. And so my first day was really nerve wracking because it was an entire cast record. There was probably at least 10 other actors in the room. And they told us all about what the Clone Wars was gonna be about. They also told us, um, and they told me all about Ahsoka Tano because when I was cast, I knew that I was playing a new character and I knew that her name was gonna be Ahsoka Tano, but that's all I knew. And so I found out who she was gonna be, that she was gonna be Anakin Skywalker's Padawan and my mind was blown, but then, they told us that we had to keep keep it a secret for two years. So Ooh. yeah, they, they told us all about confidentiality and everything like that. So um, it was it was an exciting day. It was a nerve wracking day. It was a scary day, um, but most of all exciting. Um, but then Matt became Anakin about you know a couple months later, and um, I met Matt for the first time, and I knew that Anakin and Ahsoka were just friends. But Dave Filoni had warned me that some people might want Anakin and Ahsoka to have a romantic relationship. So I first met Matt and I guess I said, just so you know, there's nothing going on here. <laughs> She's <laughs> so very, Matt, very clear. Your, your first Anakin day. and Ahsoka were just friends, just brother and sister. <laughs> like, yeah. And I think it might have been like before I even really talk to Ashley at all, had a conversation with her at all. So that was, that was kind of, we always laugh about that. Um, wow. You, yeah, you could say I mean, that for again. Me, <laughs> for me, I, uh, when I auditioned Dave Filoni, actually, I was in the vo vocal booth um, and he didn't tell me it was for Anakin Skywalker at all. They, they didn't tell me that until after I got hired. Um, so he, uh, in the booth, he just said, Hey, can you give me just kind of what your best, crossover between Han Solo and Luke Skywalker would be. And I said, yeah, okay, sure. And I remember the scene had R2-D2 in it. And um, it was a scene, something happened and, and R2, I, I, I don't remember, did something. And it was kind of like a, oh, R2, like, what are you doing, buddy? Like that sort of a thing. And uh, that was it. I left a few days later, 
I got a call that, that uh, I was hired. It's Anakin. It's the Clone Wars. It's going to be a big show. And um, and that was kind of my introduction to, to the Clone Wars. Wow, that's amazing, both of you, yeah. that is. Anyways, now I've got a question for Ashley. Um, uh, there is now a live action version of Ahsoka that was introduced in The Mandalorian Season 2. And a new self-titled series for Disney Plus is currently in pre-production. Um, so, Ashley, in your own words, uh, if you saw the Ahsoka episode, uh, uh, what what do you think the differences are going to be for the portrayal of Ahsoka from animation to live action form? Oh, you know, I I can't really speak to that because I never I never wrote the stories. So, you know, in terms of, of the writing and what she goes through, I, I, I never was a part of that. I only had the opportunity to kind of weigh in on how I performed it. Um, so I can't really speak to what she'll be like in the series because I'm, I'm not involved in that. But I do, you know, just from what I saw in The Mandalorian, she's obviously a lot older, um, you know, very similar to how Ahsoka was in Star Wars Rebels. And as we see Ahsoka and Rebel, she's a lot more reserved. Um, as Dave likes to describe it, she's a, a lot more like Gandalf. Um, really? So, yeah. So, so who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm interested in seeing where they take Ahsoka. Uh, me too. But we'll have to wait until um, the production is has already begun. That is. Yeah. Any, anyways, and, and now this is a question for Matt. Uh, sure. In preparation for playing Anakin before he was Darth Vader, how did you manage to develop the character and what were your inspirations? That is a good question. Um, well, firstly, I was fortunate that the, I mean, I guess you could say fortunate or or could have made you more nervous, depending on how you look at it, that the character was already established. We already knew who Anakin was. Um, we kind of knew his background. Um, I fortunately didn't have the pressure of trying to copy Hayden's performance or fit into a, a Hayden kind of a like box of who Anakin was because Dave really wanted me to do my own thing. Case in point, they didn't even tell me it was Anakin. And I think part of that is because they really wanted to have the actor bring kind of a new essence. Um, and they kind of wanted just to give a general idea of a, of a character and they didn't want me to know it was Anakin. Um, so I think that I was hired a lot for what they felt like I naturally brought to the table. Um, <clears throat> so in that regard, I, I didn't have to kind of copy a performance. Um, yeah, of, of course, I went back and I watched the films and kind of watched the development of the character uh, to see where he was. But really, the Clone Wars is also a, a developmental ground for who Anakin is. In the films, we really get a short uh, idea of, of who he is and, and the Clone Wars I really got to expand on that and, and kind of let Dave and George uh, take the character where uh, they wanted to develop him so I, I sort of got to grow with Anakin. Wow that's what I like to hear Matt and yeah. to end on the line though I do have two other items of Star Wars wise that I want to show you real quick yeah. before the session yeah. ends. Um, this The first accessory that I'm going to show you um, it's a Star Wars t-shirt with Ooh. Han Solo and Chewbacca. Classic. I love yeah. that one. I love yeah, that I, one. I, got, I got it for Christmas about a couple of years ago, or probably my birthday, I don't know. But nice. I, I think I outgrew this shirt, so I apologize if I'm not wearing it in time. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. And finally, yeah, sorry. And finally, I have the, um, the Grogu, the child from The Mandalorian. Yeah. And once yeah. he touches, once you touch his forehead, which I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, um, oh, it, it his head starts moving. Yeah. It starts making some noises. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my it's, gosh, he's so cute. Very cute. Hi. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> that's well, all Travis, I have to show you. It's a pleasure to see you. You're and welcome. happy holidays. Yeah, same to you. And may the force be with you both. May the force be with you too. Bye. Thank you.